Hi, I hope you are doing well. I am Rax Khare, Analytics Specialist Solutions Architect at AWS. In this demo, we will see how we can easily and securely load data into Amazon Redshift using Query Editor V2 with new automatic schema inference feature while loading to a new table. The Query Editor V2 is a separate web-based SQL client application that you use to author and run queries on your Amazon Redshift data warehouse. The Query Editor V2 has a rich set of features to manage and run your SQL statements. In this demo, we will see how we can load data from a file by automatically detecting schema and creating the table during the loading process. Let's dive into the demo. From the Redshift console, you can navigate to Query Editor V2. You can log on to the Amazon Redshift provision cluster or Redshift serverless workgroups by providing a user ID and a password or by using temporary credentials. Here, I am already connected to Redshift serverless workgroup. Once connected, you choose load data to initiate the load process. The auto schema inference feature works for both when loading from S3 or from a local file. For this demo, I will show you both the options. First, let's load a CSV file from local machine. I have a line item file from TPCH benchmarking dataset. You can see the structure of this file. There are columns of different formats like strings, integers, floats, dates. So let's go ahead and load this data file. From data source, we will choose load from local file. Choose browse to find the file on your local machine. I will go ahead and select the file. You can then choose the file format. You can see currently supported data formats from the dropdown. Our file is a CSV, so we will choose CSV. The default delimited character is a comma, and our file is comma delimited too, so we will keep it as is. The file also has headers, so we will keep ignore header rows checked. Optionally, you can also navigate to advanced settings and change various data conversion parameters and load operations. For example, our demo file has certain date fields. So we will choose data conversion parameters and select date format to be auto. This will automatically recognize the date format in the file. Click on next. Now in the table options, we can either load to an existing table or to a new table. We will choose load new table. This will automatically trigger the schema detection of the file. You can review and change data types if required. You also have ability to change column names or add new columns or specify default column values. I will go ahead and rename first column from order key to order ID. You can also choose table details to specify distribution or sort keys. By default, it is set to auto, which will leverage Redshift's automatic table optimization feature to learn from your consumption pattern and automatically assign the distribution and sort keys. After you have finished reviewing and doing changes, you specify the values for cluster or workgroup, database, schema, and table. For example, tpch underscore line item to load data to. Let's go ahead and create table. 
once table is created it will show a table creation message at this point in time you can choose load data to start loading the data into this newly created table once table is loaded it will again show a successful table load message let's navigate to our table from the table catalog expand database dev expand schema and we can see our new table here in order to see the table definition you can right click and choose show table definition this will show the table ddl if you recall i had earlier renamed the first column order key to order id and it has created the table with the new column name appropriately now to query the data in this table and ensure it has loaded successfully you can either write a select query or you can simply right click on the table and choose select table this will automatically write the select query for you and you can simply click on run so we can see our data has been successfully loaded from a local csv file into a new table in redshift now let's try loading another file which is in parquet format and this time my file is in a s3 bucket choose load data again to initiate the load process choose load from s3 bucket our sample file is from new york city taxi trip records data set which is parquet format choose browse s3 to navigate to s3 file directly from Coriator v2 from list of s3 buckets you can select the appropriate bucket and navigate to the file select the file and click on choose this will automatically populate the s3 location of the file our s3 bucket is in us west 2 so it has automatically selected the appropriate region also it has automatically recognized and changed file format to be parquet you can now simply click on next we want to load this data into a new table so we will choose load new table and it will trigger automatic schema detection of the parquet file you can review column names and data types or choose table details to change distribution or sort keys after you have finished reviewing and doing changes you specify the values for cluster or workgroup database schema and table for example nyc underscore taxi to load data to as we are loading this data from s3 you will also have to provide an iam role that has required permissions to load data from s3 bucket this iam role should also be attached to redshift i already have an iam role with required permissions to load the data from s3 bucket and attached to redshift so i will just go ahead and select the iam role choose create table once table is created it will show a successful table creation message at this point you can choose load data to start loading the data into this newly created table this will automatically open a new editor tab and start executing the copy command which you can monitor for completion our copy command has finished executing so let's navigate to our table from the table catalog click on refresh button 
expand serverless workgroup, expand database schema, and we can see our new table here. To query the data in this table and ensure it has loaded successfully, you can simply right click on the table and choose select table. This will again automatically write the select query for you and you can simply click on run. So we can see our data has been successfully loaded from a parquet file in a S3 bucket into a new table in Redshift. Now let's try loading one more file from local machine and this time our file is in JSON lines format. I have a customer file from TPCH benchmarking data set. You can see the structure of this file which is in JSON lines format with different data types. Also it has column with mixed case like entity ID so we will see how we can ignore the case and load this data. To load this file, choose load data again to initiate the load process. From data source, we will choose load from local file. Choose browse to find the file on your local machine. I will go ahead and select our tpch customer.json file. You can see it has automatically recognized and changed file format to JSON. Choose file options and select match automatically and ignore case. This will automatically load all fields from JSON file while ignoring the case of field names. Click on next. We want to load this data into a new table so we will choose load new table and it will trigger automatic schema inference of the JSON file. You can review column names, data types and see how table column columns are mapped to JSON fields. After you have finished reviewing and doing changes, you specify the values for a cluster or work group, database, schema, and table, for example, tpch underscore customer to load data to. Let's go ahead and create table. Once table is created, it will show a successful table creation message. At this point, you can choose load data to start loading the data into this newly created table. Once table is loaded, it will again show a successful data load message. Let's navigate to our table from the table catalog. We'll click on the refresh button, expand workgroup name, expand database dev, expand schema, and we will see our new table created here. In order to see the table definition, again, let's right click and choose show table definition. This will show the table DDL. If you recall, our JSON file had entity ID in mixed case. And as we have selected to ignore case while loading data, so the columns get mapped accurately even when table column name is in lowercase. So now to query this data and ensure it has loaded successfully, let's right click on the table and choose select table. This will automatically write the select query for you and so you can simply click on run. So we can see our data has been successfully loaded from a local JSON file into a new table in Redshift. That is it. I hope you have enjoyed this demo. Thank you for watching.